This video demonstrates how to use the Layer State Manager to save, restore, and manage configurations of layer properties and states to be used in different viewports. First, I'll activate the Combine Plan Sheet in the command line. Type Model Mode, select the viewport, then click the Layer State Manager tool from the ribbon bar. In the Layer State Manager dialog, I can expand the Show All Entities tab. Click the Add button to add a new layer state and call it Construction Plan. I'll then select the Edit to bring up the Edit Layer State window. Here I'll want to hide the A, Anno, Text, iFern, and P, Center Fixed layers. Then select OK. I can now activate that layer state by selecting Activate and then close the dialog window. Now I'll click on the second viewport and again select the Layer State Manager tool. I'll click the Add button to add a new layer state and call this one Demolition Plan. I'll click the Edit button to hide A Anno Text. iFern and change iWall to red and then dashed font. I'm also going to hide P Center Fixed and select OK. Activate the layer state and then click Close. Now in my third viewport, I'll again select the Layer State Manager tool. I'll add a new layer state called Furniture Plan and select the Edit button. In the Edit Layer State dialog, I'm going to shift select all layers and change their colors by selecting Specify Color in the Color drop-down list. In the Line Color dialog, I'll select Gray, then OK to dismiss the dialog and then OK again to dismiss the Edit Layer State dialog window. Then select Activate to activate the layer state. I'll select Edit once again and hide the A Anno Text layer and change the color of iFern layer to magenta. From there, select OK, then Activate, then Close. In the command line, I'll type in Sheet Mode and click the Model tab to switch back to the model. To learn more about DraftSight and how you can increase your productivity even further with the powerful features in DraftSight Professional and Enterprise, visit DraftSight.com.